Madison West, Olin Hacker had won a WIAA state team title and an individual title, but never on the same day until Saturday. First mile, I knew I had to, but I wasn't very comfortable leading the race. But I didn't have much of a choice, and then he started pushing away, and I tried to stick with him for as long as I could, but he pulled away and won the race. By the two-mile mark, Hacker had opened a sizable lead on his Big 8 conference rival, and it looked as though the University of Wisconsin recruit was ready to join the list of two-time Division I state champions, an elite group that includes his father, Tim, and his uncle, Jeff. A nice pack at the mile mark, and then uh, Ryan said he wasn't totally comfortable leading that. At what point did you pass him, and, and how did that race unfold to your liking? Um, a little bit after the mile, I got a little bit of an advantage on him down the hill, and from there I just hammered, and I slowly made a gap. Hacker won his second state title in 14 minutes, 59.1 seconds, more than 35 seconds faster than Namath, who settled for second place for the third year in a row. How would you describe the, ri the rivalry you've had with Owen Hacker? Intense, a little overwhelming. It kind of distracts almost from regular life, but it's, <laughs> it's, a nice, it's nice to have a really, really strong runner to run against, and it's almost a pleasure because he's incredible, and I love running against him. What? And after the two said goodbye to one of the great rivalries in Big 8 Conference history, it was time for Hacker to turn his attention to the team race. West won that going away with 77 points, 80 points ahead of runner-up Stevens Point on a day when four Big 8 teams finished in the top 11. Madison LaFollette was 4th, Middleton 6th, and Janesville Craig 11th. Four conference teams in the top 11. Oh, you ran away with it. Well, I mean, it does say something for how strong the conference is. I mean, Craig was 8th in the conference and 11th in the state. I mean, you think about were, that one. Oh my God. Um, so God, yeah, it does man. say something for us strong conferences. Boy, you know, we, we <laughs> talked about, um, you know, it's all seniors running. And we had talked about leaving here feeling like you had no regrets with what happened. You're gonna just do the best you can and that's that's what you can do and and you know you can uh, it's no longer would it be time for well if i had just done this then we'd have done better gentlemen and uh pretty good together for four years and have a group of seven guys that are all seniors really is an amazing thing to have and to come out and race hard all of us did what we had to do and we put it together and it in the Division I girls competition, Sun Prairie junior Katie Hippus ran with the lead group most of the 5,000 meter race. She would finish third individually, and the Cardinals would finish a program best third as a team. On a better day, I think I could have been up there with the final group, but I don't know. You can never tell until you get here. Right. But this day was about more than winning and losing. Sun Prairie decked out its team tent in green and white balloons and wore green and white headbands in support of Madison Memorial, its Big 8 rival which competed nice without two Keep runners going, injured right last week in a man. car crash. Awesome job. Awesome. Honestly, just knowing about all the people that love us and care about us and that um, nothing is more important um, than the people you're around. No race is more important. That's, that makes me emotional thinking about that, but uh, the cross-country communities from all the coaches, from all the uh, schools you know it's not just cross country it's parents there's there's teams from other states that are sending letters and you know, tokens of appreciation and videos for us um, looking at what sun prairie did and putting green and white on their you know their girls are wearing that in their hair putting green and white balloons up i mean that just chokes me up thinking about it it's it's really special and it's a great cross country community we all have we cheer for each other we're so happy for their success and what they did and you know our girls did the best that they could today with what we had and i'm proud of them